A happy marriage is a long conversation which always seems too short. Old age is far more than white hair, wrinkles, a feeling that it is too late and the game is finished, that the stage belongs to the rising generations. The true evil is not the weakening of the body, but the indifference of the soul. Conversation would be vastly improved by the constant use of four simple words. I do not know. In literature, as in love, we are astonished at what is chosen by others. A successful marriage is an edifice that must be rebuilt every day. Happiness is never there to stay. Happiness is merely a respite offered by inquietude. Smile, for everyone lacks self-confidence. And more than any other one thing, a smile reassures them. We owe to the Middle Ages the two worst inventions of humanity romantic love, and gunpowder. Without a family, man alone in the world trembles with the cold. There are certain persons for whom pure truth is a poison. A marriage without conflicts is almost as inconceivable as a nation without crises. Modesty and unselfishness. These are the virtues which men praise and pass by. People are what you make them. A scornful look turns into a complete fool, a man of average intelligence. A contemptuous indifference turns into an enemy a woman who, well-treated, might have been an angel. Growing old is no more than a bad habit which a busy person has no time to form. The effectiveness of work increases according to geometric progression if there are no interruptions. The first recipe for happiness is avoid too lengthy meditation on the past. Above all things, never be afraid. The enemy who forces you to retreat is himself afraid of you at that very moment. To be witty is not enough. One must possess sufficient wit to avoid having too much of it. A true woman loves a strong man because she knows his weaknesses. She protects as much as she is protected. If you create an act, you create a habit. If you create a habit, you create a character. If you create a character, you create a destiny. We console ourselves with several friends for not having found one real one. Men cheat because they don't feel needed. Women because they don't feel loved. If men could regard the events of their own lives with more open minds, they would frequently discover that they did not really desire the things they failed to obtain. Experience is valuable only when it has brought suffering and 
when the suffering has left its mark upon both body and mind.